to hard talk India. If Poland Davies' assassination came as a shock for most people, perhaps what truly stunned them was the way the Samajwadi Party tried to make political capital out of it. Why did it do it, and how will it face up to the criticism that is now being leveled against it? With me is the man they consider the public face of the party, its General Secretary and Rajya Sabha MP, Amar Singh. Mr. Amar Singh, for almost a week, practically everything your party has said or done about Poolan Devi's assassination has been interpreted as politicizing it. Has the world misunderstand you, or are you today prepared to accept that your party has made some mistakes? We have not committed any mistake, and particularly the elitist press, English press, I have said it in the past also, and I am repeating it today also. They have got some uh, some kind of contempt for Samajwadi Party and Mulayam Singh, mostly because uh, he is a representative of uh, uh, backward ethos, which has come up in North Indian politics. So, in last parliamentary poll also, Karan, if you remember, all this press, Delhi press in particularly, they wrote uh, premature obituary and they said that not more than two and three, they have gone with the wind. But you know, Mr. Amar Singh, you are the darling of the press. That is what they call you in Delhi. You are in, on every TV channel, you are in every newspaper. How can you say that the English press hold you and your party in contempt? Uh, let me tell you, electronic media, if you say, I concede your point. I, and I do not know the reason. Had there not been the existence of electronic media, I do not know what I would have been where I would have been. But uh, if I go to some village, I have to request or I give some hard political statement, very seldom I get publicity. But on page 4, if I am with Amitabh Bachchan or with Ravina Tandon, they splash it. Okay. Let so, so, let me let me to be very categorical and uh, very forthright in this, that the English press is not at all kind to me. But that is what you say, the English press is not at all kind to you and you are trying to suggest that in fact the press even has my, conveyed the wrong message. Even my friend Veer Sangvi in Hindustan Times, what he wrote, I respect his point of view, he is entitled to his point of view, but let me tell you this is false propaganda. And well, let us go back to what happened on the day Poodan Devi died. Literally within an hour of her death you were on television and you said and I will quote, a conspiracy hatched by the government and it has been done deliberately to kill her. Now, on what basis were you making that remark? 100 percent I said that and I am not withdrawing, withdrawing this uh, statement because that day in the morning, Fulan met me and she told me in parliament itself that Ranganath Misra, Minister of State for Home Affairs, Government of Uttar Pradesh met her. And he is a member of her constituency. He has a right God, to meet her. God. There is very bitter and fierce opposition between them. But did she say to you that he had come with evil intentions? Abso of course, she said that. She said that Ranganath Mishra had come with evil intentions. It was not evil intentions. She said that he, he is not my friend. There had been fierce electoral battle. Murder of my workers took place when there was electoral battle. I am little apprehensive. She said that. And immediately after that, she also said that my security is withdrawn. And I feel, let me tell you, and Let's take it one by one. Hmm. You said she was apprehensive. Being apprehensive is one thing. Look what you said again. You said she has been done away at the instance of senior BJP leaders. How do you know that? What evidence do you have? Evidence. First of all, a lady who is your colleague, she beats you in the parliament. She tells you about this visit which is unusual because a rival with whom she has been through fierce battles. And thereafter, after two hours, all of a sudden you get news that she is no more. And when you see. So, you put two and two together and came to the conclusion course, that the BJP had done it? No, not only that. In the parliament, there is a record. If you consult the library, because right. in parliament everything is recorded. She said that security is withdrawn. Well, let us come to this first, then we will come to security later. Do you uh -huh. really believe that the BJP, if it was responsible, if they were part of a conspiracy, I will tell you, would be calling on the lady the night before they planned to kill her? Do you believe that? As long as I did not expose Ragnath Misra's visit, he did not open his mouth. He did not even say that he visited her. I am not saying Ragnath Misra is involved, let me tell you. 
You said, and I want to quote no, to no, you no. again, you said it's a conspiracy hatched by the government. You said that this has been done at the instance of BJP leaders. You're clearly saying in your I'm statement... I'm still saying I'm not repentful of what I said that day. Because you believe the BJP is no, behind food yes, and Devi's because, death? because our workers were killed. Mirjapur Vidoi. And last time, one of our workers was brutally assassinated and Fulan Devi sat for a dharna with that dead body. The past history and then... I don't want to name the criminals with shady background. They were made BJP MLCs. I have to ask you this again because it's such an important thing you're saying. Are you seriously telling me that you believe that senior BJP leaders are Sir, involved in a conspiracy Sir, to kill Poolan Devi? Sir, why, I did, uh, why I said that? My premise of making that statement was on the ground, Karan, that Sakshi Maharaj, for whom Atal ji wrote a letter to Didan Home Minister Indrajit Gupta that his life is in danger. Same Sakshi Maharaj, when he joined Samajwadi party and he is still member of parliament. So every security cover from him was removed. Then Kalyan Singh who was their chief minister and he was their lucky mascot. But Mr. Amar Singh, no. the two don't add up together. Whatever happened to Sakshi Maharaj after he left the BJP and joined you is not connected with the claim that you've made no, that the is, BJP was, no, is no, responsible it for was killing happening with all of us, Whether it is Amar Singh, whether it is Mulayam Singh, everybody's security cover was being relaxed. Even Mulayam Singh's AK-47 rifle which was given to his local Can guards in the hmm. Poolan Devi died tragically. Huh? And there could be a multiple number of reasons why she was killed. We won't know the truth until an inquiry is held. But on the day she died, you jumped the gun, you rushed to conclusion because you wanted to make political capital no, for your no, party. No, Karan, no, Karan, absolutely not. Uh, I will admit that it was not politics. More than politics, it was my heart. It was my um, emotion. For a lady who met me that very morning, who told me that she was apprehensive, I am saying, of the visit of the local rival, and then the background, that's when she asked for a license, from Delhi police, it has come officially, it was denied. I'll come to that again. You say she was apprehensive, you say you spoke from your heart and therefore your heart led you to make unjustified, unwarranted, unprovable accusations. No, it is not unjustified. It's not unjustified? Because again, Chief Minister UP has made a very harsh statement and he has said that I will finish BJP, BSP and SP. He made that in the context of an electoral no, fight no. with I'm you. I'm very he sorry. When oh, he used very the word finish, mean that he was finished with Very sorry, Karan, this is not the language of a chief minister. Chief minister. Ah, it may not be the language no, of no, a chief, chief minister. So just as your language to Mr. Advani, Chullu Bharpani, Medhu Bhakta is not been... the language of a leader from the Lok Sabha. Let's leave language aside. Let's come back no, to... No, he also point. said, Koi mai kalal bachega ni. You know, no son of any mother will be dare to dare around if he dares to oppose BJP. So you really believe that because the B BJP has spoken in these terms, the BJP is responsible we, for so many no, no, so many things. The aggressive language of Honorable Chief Minister, the Fulan's information passed on to me about the visit of... Uh, she spoke of her apprehension. She was concerned that a man who is a political rival, a man with whom she has differences, has come to meet her. No, Let me put differences. something to you. This happened in the context of widespread reports that Poolan Devi is distancing herself from your party, widespread reports that perhaps she has opinions that agree with those of Karan, Rajnath Singh, the UP chief Karan minister, and disagree with you. Karan, in that context, Karan, she absolutely, was apprehensive. absolutely wrong. Let me tell you, Poolan Devi was exonerated from all her cases by whom? By Mulayam Singh. Poolan Devi was untouchable for each one of them. Poolan Devi was made member of parliament twice by whom? By Mulayam Singh and Samajwadi party. She was nominated thrice by which party? By Samajwadi party. Mulayam Singh... No, you and resurrected and created her political career. I grant you that. No one's going to deny it. Yet it's also true that Fulan Devi today supports the attempts being made by Rajnath Singh to create and find new reservations for the MBC, something that is your there, party no, no. is strongly against. Who That's said, one reason why she's said, apprehensive no, no. when Rajnath Singh is there, comes and calls is on her. There, this is BJP's propaganda. Is there any statement of Fulan during her lifetime that she ever opposed her? It's widely reported in the press that Fulan Devi had differences with Samajwadi leaders. Anything in the press can be written about, but uh, full, uh, dead Fulan cannot remain alive and she cannot make her this kind of statement. Her husband has more or less almost in these words admitted on television that Fulan was thinking of withdrawing from politics. She was tired of the party, he was suggesting. He didn't use that language, but that's what he was suggesting. 
her husband may say many things. You will find uh, soon in days to come what all he is going to say. So I will not wish to comment on what her husband says in what context. And he the said. man who's confessed to murdering her, Sher Singh Rana, has actually said that Poolan in private used to curse you, that she used to call you names. Now, given all of that context, no, no. if someone from the no, no, BJP no, no, comes no, you are, to see her, you are speaking. Let me speak also. But after another, you are speaking. You are very fast. Let me uh, address to your question. Uh, another accomplice of Fulan's murder who is caught today. Let me improvise your information. He has said they have murdered Fulan because he used to abuse Rajnath Singh. It could be the diversionary tactics of the murderers to deflect it's the entire precisely. issue. Precisely. So the whole issue no, no, comes back no, to the fact that no, no one really knows no, why Fulan no, was you murdered. Have, you have, you have, you have, you have no, you've categorically no, no, no. said that the BJP no, no. is responsible. You first, uh, you is have, that not no, being you have first responsible? Said, and secondly, full, why will Fulan abuse me? Fulan did not contest election against me. She was contesting election against Birender Singh in Bhadoi. There used to be fears. I don't know whether Poolan actually abused you or not, because this is Sher Singh Rana saying it, but it's possible that if she did, she did it because she came to feel that mm. people like you in the Samajwadi Party were exploiting the most backwards for their own ends. That's why perhaps she supported Rajnath Singh when he came up with a policy to create new reservations, I especially fully for disagree. the most backwards. I fully disagree. This is a conspiracy of BJP RSS. This is a false propaganda. Come back to Poolan. No, no, making a choice. No, no, let me care so much for her. No, no. You say that you let me first complete this. Poolan is alive. Poolan has she ever told anything of this sort? You know, if there is one statement of Poolan denouncing Amar Singh or Mulayam Singh is there, one statement inside Parliament or outside Parliament, I will agree to whatever you have said. Come back to Poolan. No. Sadly, she is not alive. And secondly, but what did you do to Poolan? A lady who lived a tragic life, no. who died tragically, the one thing she craved was respectability. Yet even in death, you denied her that dignity. You converted her body into a political football. That's not respect. That's the ultimate insult. Absolutely, absolutely false charge. I do not agree with it at all. I will tell you what happened precisely. Same day, Umed came to us, and Umed is still alive. It is subject to confirmation. And Umed said that Fulan hails from Jalan, but she had visited Jalan once in her lifetime. And her karma, her workplace is Bhadoi. She has been given a lot of support from the electorate of that area. She was elected, she uh, contested thrice, and she was elected from Bhadoi, Mirjapur twice. My only thing is that near Ganga, if she can be cremated, this will be well and good. So you decided to override the wishes of her mother and her sisters and to take the body to Mirzapur, even though publicly no, the mother and sister no. had said they wanted the cremation no, in Delhi? No, absolutely not. Had it been so, I challenge BJP government, if you have abducted the dead body, even that is a crime. So it's not a question of abduction, it's a question of doing it by coercion and force, not abduction. No, no, not at all. Not the, at all? Not Forgive at me all. interrupting you. Uh, the mother no, no, let and me the complete. sister. Let me, let me finish no, this let point. Let me complete. I will, t I will tell you what you are going to say. They are on record. They have said it on TV. No, no, I wasn't going to say that at all. Uh -huh. I was going to say that the mother and the sisters are Poolan's blood relatives. They are her closest family. When this was put to Malayam Singh Yadav, do you know what he said? He said, family? What family? The Samajwadi party is her family. In other words, he was putting a political party above her blood relatives. That is politicizing Poolan. That is denying her the love of the people closest to her. I, again, this is your bias, uh, Karan. You're not your bias. The bias of the people who are representing this kind of uh, propaganda. Let me tell you very frankly. Everyone who watched television heard Mulayam Singh Yadav say this. You see, the total bite is not shown. He said, first of all, he said that I have consulted everyone, and thereafter I have organized. And if you want the cremation, not who to is the everyone you consulted. Omed Singh, the husband? No. Someone with whom Fulan had serious differences which were well known? Someone with whom she seriously thought of no, having a divorce no, no. as we now let know? Me, no. You allowed his wishes no, to override those no, of let her me, mother let and me, No, no, let me tell you. Her sister Munni, her mother, when Sonia Gandhi visited Fulan's house, at, bo at that point of time all of us were closeted in the room. And Mulayam Singh just said that if you don't want cremation to take place in Mirjapur, fine, let it not be. Then she said no. Munni said, Pitaji, this is not the case. Case is that if cremation will take place in Mirjapur, then all of us will not be able to go there. So that was their only concern? That was their only concern. They all wanted to go and they felt that they all couldn't Almost go to Mirzapur. They, and they were very much right. 
in, uh, in the saying this, because they want to see the last rite of their Didi with their own eyes. Understandably, they are her sister and her mother. I fully agree and I respect their And wish. what happened at Mirzapur, you took them no doubt, I can see that. Mm. The second the cremation was over, they were forgotten. The clear message you gave mm. is that while they were politically useful to the Samajwadi party, you cared about them, when they stopped being useful, you didn't worry this about them as individuals. A, uh, this is again a baseless charge. Let me tell you, if you would not have done anything, then people would have said that this is a party which gave nomination to full and thrice from Mirjapur. But the moment she is dead and gone, they have forgotten her. When we have organized, lakhs of people were there and uh, it was organized, uh, the state government which is uh, so much pro, most backward, they did not send even DM to place a wreath on her body. Let's leave the state government out, I am talking to you about the Samajwadi. Uh, yes, Why if you spent so much money, so much effort, so much care, so much affection, did Muni, her sister, turn around and say, this is not a funeral, this is a tamasha. That's the verdict of her family. I don't know what Muni said, but the Sunaran, her own brother, he said at the same place, if this is the death, this is a very glorified death. Uh, I was very sorry, but seeing the love and affection of lakhs of people, my heart is... Mr. Samar Singh, just pause for a moment. Poolan Devi dies, you use it as an excuse to hit out at the BJP. Poolan Devi dies, you use it as an excuse to take her body back to Mirzapur and make a political statement to try and win votes. Poolan Devi dies, you override the wishes of those that are closest to her, her mother and her sister. And then, there's one other I thing... I don't know, please, let, uh, Karan, in this, first of all, you decide. If you will continue asking and you will not let me speak. So, if there is going to be monologue, I don't mind. Then you speak, I will not respond to you. And if you give me a fair chance to uh, reply to each question of yours. Like one question about advantage you asked and you jump to another question, then jump to another question. I know this is your usual style and I welcome this style. This aggression is very good. But you should please give me also some opportunity to say what I want Mr. to Amar say. Singh, you have every opportunity to say the problem but is you are not saying. that you keep saying that you have not played opportunism with her, that you haven't exploited her. The facts suggest otherwise. I'm simply repeating the facts to you. You are not repeating facts. You are repeating your, uh, your repetition are based on the basis of the newspaper reports. Now you are saying that Fulan, BJP, who is politicizing? Now when Fulan is not there, they are saying she was likely to join their party. She was sympathetic to them. When she was alive, what did they do for her? Now Sonia Gandhi and uh, Atal Bihari Vajpayee, they went and they met uh, and offered condolence to Umed Singh. Rightly or wrongly, they were about to divorce. Uh, the, 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 the divorce was in the offing. Kambri Jaswal is saying that all that is fine. I am not contesting all this. Might be true, might not be true because I was not. Uh, what exactly is the point you are making? Point I am making that husband is coming after the death and he is saying that take, uh, the funeral should take place in Mirjapur. Next day morning, the mother is saying the feud is between, in the, might be in the family. Then we said, fine, let the commission take place in the feud might be between Umed, mother, and Munni. But suppose if I am no longer there, I think that my wife will have precedence over my parents. My mother will say or my father will say whatever will my, my wife will Except say. Except in will the case it. of Umed Singh, ah. it's a husband from whom she wished to separate. At one point in time, the papers have claimed that she even filed divorce proceedings. It's mm. well known that mm. she had differences with him. Therefore, when It is mother also well known, let me tell you, it is also well known that every day she used to fight and every day she used to patch up. Let me tell you this. And now all of you are talking as if you know more about Fulan than all of us. Okay. That yes. is very uh, disgusting, let me tell you. Possibly. Man, man, we are all, all talking almost, on the basis of what the is known. Basis, basis, I am telling you the basis. Umed Singh came, chronologically let me clarify. Umed Singh came and he asked for the funeral at Mirjapur. Electorate from Mirjapur, they wanted desperately Fulan's funeral to take place in Mirjapur. There was discord in the family on account of this fact that only four or five people will be able to go to Mirjapur for the cremation and rest of them will be left out. Then I chartered plane and I accommodated each one of them. The charge that we placed the dead body and we capitalized out of it is uh, absolutely wrong. It is widely shared in the country. No. My, this is my fault, our party's fault. 
that our communication skill is not that good and we don't have support. No, in fact, you're talking about your communication skills. Something else that I want to put out to you is that, in fact, your communication skills sometimes was based upon deliberately putting out mis- or disinformation. Absolutely. You said a moment ago that Poolan Devi had asked for a gun license and had been refused. The district magistrate of Mirzapur has gone on record to say that no such application was ever made, that he met her as recently as the 21st of July. She didn't even raise the subject with him. So why are you saying that she applied for a gun license? No, 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 no. I checked it out. It is not correct. She did ask for the gun license. And uh, she was uh, told uh, negatively, not only from Mirzapur, even from Delhi. The Delhi. So you're uh, saying the district magistrate of Mirzapur who's gone on record to the contrary is lying? Is lying. Absolutely. What about something else? The Zenic Jagran claims that in 1996, Poolan Devi asked for a gun license in Delhi, which was rejected. But that happened at a time when your party, the Samajwadi Party, was in power. And as the party in power at the center, responsible for the Delhi police. So in other words, you too, when you were in power in 96, refused her a license. And that's on the front page of the Dainik Jagran. So it's the same thing as the district magistrate. People like her get refused gun licenses because they have a past that is questionable. You are absolutely right. We were part of the government, but we were, we were a helpless part of the government because that was a coalition. And uh, Mulayam Singh Yadav, our leader, was the defense minister, yeah, very powerful of course, minister. Powerful minister, but, yes. but as chief minister, what he did when he was having all the power at, her, at his command, he gave police escort to Fulham. Her security was of Jet Plus when he was chief minister. But Devagoda was Prime Minister. I am not saying that Devagoda did not do, and Indrajit Gupta was Home Minister. The relationship between Indrajit Gupta... This is another one of the disinformation campaigns that you've launched. You said publicly as a party that Poolan Devi's security was reduced. You said that two times in this interview itself. The Home Ministry has confirmed that Poolan Devi's security has stayed the same from 93 when she was released from Tehar jail till no, today. No, I don't want to go for other people's uh, comparison but, uh, because you are talking about Poolan and her security. So I will not make comparison with Kalyan Singh, what they did with Kalyan Singh when he was chief minister and now he is... Please don't, because the question uh, is, was Poolan security reduced? The Home Ministry confirms it's been the same from 93 till today. They will try to save their skin. You mean they're lying? I don't want to uh, make such harsh comments again. But, but that's what I, you're I, saying. Well, that's what you're suggesting. Uh, if you think so, yes, they are lying. If you want me... Uh, to, uh, so the district magistrate in Mirzapur is lying, the Home Ministry is lying, the BJP are lying when they say that they're not involved in Pujan's murder. Everyone is lying. Everyone is wrong. Only Mr. Amar Singh, only the Samajwadi Party is right. Absolutely, because everyone, uh, everyone is, uh, uh, have decided to blame Samajwadi Party, that Samajwadi Party is villain. Samajwadi Party, if Samajwadi Party would not have organized cremation, they would have said that Samajwadi Party has forgotten Fulan. Like for Chautha, we were not uh, uh, knowing that Chautha is taking place. So there is a report that nobody was there in the Does Chauta. it ever occur to you, Mr. Amar Singh, that perhaps this time round the Samajwadi party was wrong, that without realizing it, without intending it, accidentally maybe, I grant you all of that, mm. you ended up politicizing a woman's death. And I, that I others, will, when I they will, say I that you've done it, are not wrong. I will agree only on one count with you, Karan. My statement, that phrase which you used, Chulu Varpani Ma Dub I am, uh, I, I absolutely agree with you that, uh, uh, in public life, these harsh words should not be used. Do you regret that statement? I don't regret, but uh, I don't feel comfortable with it. In other words, you wish you hadn't said it? Yes, of course. You're saying that you spoke without thinking in this instance? Not without thinking. That I have got every right... Uh, uh, so you made a mistake? I will not say that also that I have made a mistake, but I will say that I should have uh, behaved with more restraint. What about some of the other statements you said? Let me remind you of them. She was done away at the instance of BJP leaders. This is a conspiracy hatched by the government. Those aren't mistakes? They, they are not mistakes. Those are accusations of murder. They are not accusations. They are because government was not at all... Even today, uh, 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 Chief Minister UP has given a statement. And he has said that let Samadwari uh, party bark, uh, shout, I am not going to provide security. So just because the UP chief minister says, let the Samajwadi party bark, surely Mr. Amar Singh is not going to start barking. You are not falling into that trap, are you? Maybe that is my fault that uh, I have fallen in the trap of chief minister. That is another story. But let me tell you, the chief minister of Uttar Pradesh has openly said that I will not provide any security to anybody because they want to curb the expenditure on security. And they are not going to curb 
expenditure which is there in government. I grant you, I grant you, he and said it. I you. grant you, he said that it. And I grant you, he was wrong to say it. But uh, does that mean that auction. you believe that he is personally responsible for Poulan Devi's death? Because so that's what you as, said. As head of the state, a lady who is begging for security. He is responsible personally for a murder? That's what you are suggesting? He is responsible personally for the murder because of his inadequacy to provide proper security to a person who is highly vulnerable to all kind of danger. Mr. Amar Singh, you have said a lot. People have heard you. Now it is for them to judge what they make of it. Thank you Thank very you. much for speaking so openly no. to Heart Talk India. Thank you.